Today we're talking about information-driven manufacturing and I have Mark Dingley here from Matthews to tell us more. Mark, tell us what is information-driven manufacturing? Yeah, information-driven manufacturing is all about uh, getting your existing assets in a production line uh, smarter. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of terminology going around at the moment. Industry 4.0 is a big, uh, big topic. And while that is all about the connected enterprise, uh, Information-driven manufacturing is more about a closed network system within the manufacturers connecting the uh, assets on the production line uh, to improve visibility, production efficiencies and really uh, connecting legacy with new equipment to really optimise the production line. Is IDM only for large manufacturers? Oh, clearly no, no. In fact, uh, in fact I, I believe that uh, IDM has the potential for small to medium is far greater than the large manufacturing. Where large manufacturers have the resource to invest in, in time and, and, uh, and people and resources to invest in smaller projects to get efficiencies, uh, unfortunately small to medium manufacturers in Australia are just looking at the production, you know, production counts and targets. So the ability to invest in small to medium, I believe, has bigger returns for, for greater product, uh, productivity and efficiency gains if they, if they use IDM and, and uh, smarter technologies on their, on their factory floor to improve visibility and better business outcomes for them as well. So what is the best way for manufacturers to approach IDM? Well, we've done a pulse on the industry and uh, as it stands at the moment, we think about 20% of uh, manufacturers are actually using, uh, are actually using uh, information from their, from their machines and from their assets for true IDM. Most, uh, I think the bulk of manufacturing is about uh, using information out of the assets and the machinery for production to counts and monitoring, uh, not for business improvements. So the opportunity is, is for small and large. And the opportunity is for to invest you know, in pilots, to get an understanding of how, how uh, they can look for, for some quick wins as we say, some gains, and then look, take those learnings, invest in, and then continue to invest and grow in technologies that, uh, that uh, improve the connectivity and make, make the machines and that connected enterprise uh, smarter, uh, for hopefully for better, better performance within the business that then leads to greater connectivity in the long run with their consumers as well. Thanks Mark, you've certainly given us enough information to drive manufacturing forward. Thank you.